I'm John Mafrano for Boris TV and welcome to the Boris Continuum Complete for Vegas Pro Training Series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a newly released BCC7 plugin called UpRes. UpRes allows you to up the resolution of your SD media to HD quality. What I have playing here is some SD media from a stock footage library that I had of an American flag and I needed to use it in an HD project. UpRes allowed me to up the resolution to HD and maintain a lot of the clarity and sharpness in the image. Let me show you how you use this. We'll start by making a new project. Uh, and then I'll go to my Explorer and drop this American flag footage onto it. Now you'll notice right away, because it's SD media, the American flag is uh, shown in 4.3. And we normally would go into pan crop and change it to 16.9, but we're not going to do that because all of that's going to be done in upres. One of the first things we want to do is right click on the media and make sure that it's using square pixels. So we go to the media tab and change the pixel aspect ratio to square. Now this media happened to be square, but if it was DV media or PAL media and it had a different pixel aspect, you want to change it to square pixels even though that's not correct because you want to tell upres what the real pixel aspect ratio is. So one of the things you must do, regardless of media, is set the pixel aspect ratio on the event to 1.0 square pixels. Also take note of the size of the media. This is not 720 by 480, it's 720 by 486, and that's going to come in handy later. Now we'll click OK. The next thing we want to do is set this in its true size into an HD frame. One of the things that Vegas does by default is it'll take any media you drop on the timeline and it will resize it to be the full size of the project, which is, which is kind of neat actually, but sometimes you don't want to do that and this is one of those times. So I want to open up pan crop and I want to change the width to be the width of my project, 1920. And you'll notice when that happened, the height also got changed. That's because I have lock aspect ratio on. And so if I go change the height to 1080, it goes back and changes my width. In order to stop this behavior, we have to uncheck lock aspect and then we can type in 1920 which is the true dimension of my project, 1920 by 1080. If I zoom out here, you'll see what we've done. We've taken this HD frame and positioned the SD media in it. When we close this, that's exactly what we see in the preview. Now we're ready to add upres. I go to the plugin manager and I drag and drop upres onto the event. You could also do this by uh, clicking on the event effects button and selecting upres. The first thing we'll do is go into the source and here's where you tell it what the pixel aspect ratio of the source really is. So if it was DV, you would leave this as DV. But I know that my source has a pixel aspect ratio of square pixels, and so that's what I'll change it to. The other thing is my size isn't 720 by 480, it's 720 by 486, so I'm going to make that change as well. Next I'm going to open up the transforms. And this is where I get to scale the media. There are several ways that this could be framed. We could fit it in a frame and letterbox it, or we can fill the frame and crop it, which is what we want to do, or we can distort it uh, to stretch. And if you distort it, it's kind of like when you distort it on your HD TV, everybody looks fatter. But we don't want to do that. So we want to fill the frame and crop. Once I've selected that, I can then scale up my image until those edges meet. And I'm going to use uh, my control key to just get beyond and there we have it. Now I've got it scaled up to the right resolution. The final thing I want to do is change the quality. It defaults to the fast method. Uh, you can also use sharp, standard, and smooth. Uh, there's a magic smooth that will uh, do some special smoothing without really losing a lot of clarity and magic sharp that'll do some special sharpening. Uh, and so in this instance I'm going to use the magic sharp uh, and then we'll double click and we'll play this. So there's the media playing, and I wish you could see it here on my screen because I'm sure it's a lot sharper than you're uh, getting it on the web, but it really has you know, all the clarity uh, in here in the ripples in the flag are really showing through. If I select one of the smooth, you'll see right away it got a little bit blurry, but if you've got a really noisy video, right, you've got a dark video that's kind of noisy, then you might want to add a little bit of blur and smooth it out uh, so that you can't see all the noise. I'm going to keep that on Magic Sharp and I just want to show you the other framing modes. 
Uh, if I was to select fit in frame, I get those letterbox uh, things on the side and I can also distort it to fill the frame. And then again, it is really, let me sc scroll back, is really squishing this out, uh, distorting it to stretch. So those are the three. You have fit in the frame, you've got uh, crop, which will crop it up, and then you've got the stretch. So we want to use crop once again. You'll notice I can go quite a ways past regular uh, HD and still get some pretty good clarity on that zoom. Uh, so that's it for up-res. When using it, don't forget to go into your properties and make sure that your pixel aspect ratio is set to one. Also, don't forget to go into pan crop and uncheck lock aspect and make sure you put it in a 19, 20 by 1080 or whatever the aspect of your project, if you're using 2K or 4K or whatever, you wanna use those dimensions. Uh, and then you pretty much just go down and tell it uh, what is the source that you're using, how much do you wanna transform it, and what is the way that you wanna transform it, and then change your quality to the quality that you'd like to use. So that wraps it up. If you need more information, drop by BorisFX.com. This is John Rafrano for Boris TV. Until next time, thanks for watching.